All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the QGIS 3 tutorial video. Uh, this video is going to be about how to use the roster calculator. Uh, before you begin, though, you're going to need some sort of roster file. Like, for example, I have a DEM file here called N43W10. Um, that's basically what you need to start beforehand. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So open up the raster calculator, just go up to roster right here, and go to raster calculator. Now over on the left here, you see the raster bands that are um, kind of available on your uh, workstation here. Uh, if you want to see more bands, you're obviously going to have to open up more bands. Uh, it will show up a bit later. And then to the right, we have the result layer. So basically we have several options. We have an option to create an on-the-fly raster instead of writing layer to disk. Uh, you could do that. We're going to do that now. But if you didn't want to do that, you would just basically type in the name of your output layer, hit browse, just do that sort of stuff, and then change the output format to GeoTIFF. Again, this only if you save it. But for now, we're just going to create on the fire roster instead of writing layer to disk. Spatial extent, you have these sorts of minimums and maximums, which are not very important. Resolution, also not terribly important either. Output TRS, yeah, this is just basically a coordinate reference system. You can change the output coordinate reference system changes. So uh, we're just going to choose the default EPSG 4326 WGS 84. Then under operators, for example, we have a plus, basically arithmetic, we have minimums, we have logic, we have trig, and inequalities, and so forth. And finally, if it's part of our raster calculator expression, basically we can just do anything we want. So for example, we want to bring in our raster man here. Just double click that. And that's where our um, uh, layer will come in. And let's say, for example, we want we had this in meters, or so we had this maybe in kilometers or something. Although uh, you'd have to check the image, um, so the raster properties that determine if it's meters or kilometers. So basically, let's see. Since we have uh, values going from one thousand seven hundred and twelve to four thousand one hundred eighty-one, I'm just going to divide by one thousand. We click OK. And it created a new band, basically. So, uh, okay. So nothing actually happened. I just misread the comma for uh, this point for a comma. So, for example, you can see it's one thousand seven hundred twelve up here. It's one point seven one two. So let's say we can change the values for it now. What if we want to say, for example, classify our image based on our raster values? Well, we'll go back to raster calculator. And then we'll select our uh, raster band we want to put in. And we're going to type in an if statement. So if blank. If our first one is like, let's for example, less than 2000. We'll change to a one. And otherwise, we'll change to two. So basically, we have an if statement. Now you could uh, use something like other videos will show a different method of using this. But basically, we're just asking that if if our first layer, if the value is less than 2,000, we're going to change the value to 1. And if it's not less than 2,000, we're going to change the value to 2. So we're going to create an on result layer. We'll click OK. And basically, we have the band here. If you, we, we have two bands, actually. So what basically happened was we cut off, um, uh, we, we cut off a lot of uh, the shades of gray. Okay, we can only see this black area because again it's under one and then background is actually white so what we can do is we can go to properties and we can go to symbology we can do pseudo band pseudo color you can click apply now i have two basic colors we have a blue here and a red here so it's a bit easier to see now if we com compare it to our earlier uh, if we compare it to our uh, first thing, you can see this little sort of corner triangle thing right here that's a particularly low elevation. And because we only use, say, for example, two numbers or two, two uh, things to classify with, we only got two sort of polygons here. Uh, so that's basically how you use raster calculator in QGIS 3 uh, to uh, do some calculations and also some classification. Uh, this is very, basically just very basics. Again, uh, I might do another video going into a little bit more complicated, more complex things. 
Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, again, as I said, I mentioned, if you liked, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.